Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I'm gonna show you how if I made an account right now and decided to invest in membership, I would make my first 10 mil. And I'm not gonna use, you know, the most efficient ways or whatever. So I'm just gonna try to have fun in this video. And I think the 10 mil will just accumulate by itself. Now, this is not meant to be a guide, but more entertainment and suggestions for what you could do. Prepare yourself, let's get out of here. And we are in RuneScape. So I'm just gonna go into the general store, trade, and sell all this shit. Not great, but we got 65 GP, which I think is enough to get a good base amount of money doing this. So we're just running west over to Draenor Village. Just going to buy some seeds here by trading Olivia. So we had 65 GP to start. I think that's all we can buy. And the 65 GP turned into 1.5K. So let's run right to the Grand Exchange, sell this and do it again. I like how far you can zoom out now. Like I can really see where I'm going. The seed sold for 1.1K, let's go do it again. So we had 1.1K, that 1.1K translates to 28K. Do this one more time and I'll have enough starting money. I'm getting pretty tired of this grind. I've been doing it for about 45 minutes now. So I think I have enough money. Let's go sell this at the Grand Exchange and see how much we have. We made, collect, 295K. Before we train too much, I gotta do the waterfall quest so that I can get my attack and strength up super quickly and easily. Let's go do that now. This should be the quest complete. Look at all of that XP, 30 strength and 30 attack. We are headed to kill thugs in Edgeville dungeon. Not only do they drop herbs that are worth a lot of money, but more importantly, they drop clue scrolls. And when you have a ring of wealth imbued, you get a clue scroll at double the rate. So usually it's one in 128, but now it's one in 64 with this ring of wealth imbued. But more specifically, clue scrolls really aren't worth the money, except because of all of the influx of new free to play players, trimmed armor and robes have skyrocketed in price. Like absolutely doubled, tripled in price because all of the free to play players want to look good. All of the people who used to play RuneScape and are just getting back into it, they want to look good and free to play. And I'm guessing early on in the game, this is probably one of the best money makers, especially if you get lucky. That is an easy clue scroll. Let's go do it. Just got a casket, first easy clue. And we get absolutely nothing. I got another clue scroll, but one of the requirements, oh, I misclicked. One of the requirements is to equip a coif. And a coif takes 20 range to equip. I am one range. 20 range, number five. Shit. Oh my God, wait. That's a monk's robe G. Wait a second. How much is that? That's 2.2 mil. On my sixth easy clue, 2.2 mil. Let's just see how much this goes for right away. I'm really curious. And that's 2.8 mil. Of course the price isn't accurate. Everything's shooting up and free to play. 2.855 mil. Another clue. Great. I got a master clue on my seventh easy clue scroll. That is a Bandos page for how much is it worth? It's only 8K. Number 14 coming in. There we go, Blue Wizard Robe G. I think that's 500K. Grand Exchange says, oh, it's sold right away. 681K, hell yeah. I'm gonna take a break from easy clue scrolls for a little bit. Here are my stats. I just got 40 attack as well, so I can wield a rune scimitar, full adamant. So they're pretty good base noob level stats. I also picked up runes and herbs that the thugs dropped. I think it added up quite a bit actually. And then I also have some of the leftover easy clue scroll loot. But if we price check all of this, it's 316K. I just got seven magic so that I can enchant sapphire jewelry because I think a good money maker is to enchant sapphire rings into rings of recoil. So we're gonna do 1000 to test it out. And I'm also gonna gain some magic levels in the process. But what's really cool is that you can filter your mage settings to make the enchant spell look a lot bigger. So now if we try this, the spell is a lot bigger because with the mouse, you have to move your cursor back and forth, but I'm just using two hands, one hand to touch 
the spell and one hand to touch my inventory. It's also really good mage XP for low levels. And there we go, that was the last ring of recoil. So they sold right for the mid price, actually well, well over the mid price. We spent 959K on materials, made 1183K, total profit 224K, plus we got to 32 magic in the process. This is a great way to train your magic at low levels. That is the last of the 4,000 rings of recoil I just made. I only made 370K and that took me so long. The rings of recoil dropped about 80 GP each overnight which cut into my profit about 320k. The loot Lava Dragons drop every time they're killed are Lava Dragon Bones, Scales, and Black Dragon Hide. All three have gone up substantially in price since November 1st. So I'm sure most of you already know about this moneymaker, but right now since prices have skyrocketed and most PKers are focused on revenants, there aren't that many PKers here. It's super AFK and it's really profitable. 253k trip got a rune kite and the onyx bolt tips another full inventory this one was 145k that was the last inventory i think i'm gonna do 250k in the looting bag a little bit more loot in the inventory i am 59 magic now i think i did like 170 ish kills but mine runes are only 5 gp each and so there was so little cost to making this money this was about nine hours of AFKing. It did take quite a while, but let's do a price check. 3.47 mil. If you guys haven't noticed, a lot of the methods I'm showing you train your combat stats. So if you look at my combat stats right now, I'm already almost halfway there to being able to do Wilderness Slayer. And once I make just a little bit more money, I could buy more gear and just go to Sand Crabs, train up and start the Slayer grind. After we sell the gear I was using, we're up to 8.45 mil. Sometimes I get burned out of playing or even money making relatively easy. Like if I play five to 10 hours in a day or two, I don't really want to continue doing that the next day. So if I'm really trying to make money, what I do is play for about 20 minutes a day flipping items overnight. And then again, when I wake up, and it's a lot easier on mobile too because I can check throughout the day if they've come in or not. So I'm gonna try to make this last 1.6 mil by doing that over the next two to three days. It's actually just before bed. I both bought and sold these items before bed. So I'll do another round overnight. And if we collect these, we did make a profit here. Over 100K profit, Odium Shard 3, and only about a 30K profit on the Odium Shard 1. I put an item in to sell overnight and I bought it. And then I sold it this morning and it's now the end of the day. I've had class all day long and it did sell. I made quite a bit of money on this flip. There you go, 440K profit. I already know what's gonna happen, but it is like 22 hours later, I checked in class, but I did successfully flip a Ceridom and Godsword ornament kit. That is 10 mil GP, let's check the history. It was 1.3 mil profit. It is hard to flip these items in less than like a 24 hour period. They don't come in very often and their prices can change, but there's 10 mil. Now I thought you guys might be interested to see how long this took me. So let's teleport home and talk to Hans. I have played roughly 21 hours in a week on this account. It took me 21 hours to make 10 mil and get these stats. I feel like I don't play that efficiently. Like I was using Fire Strike to kill Lava Dragons and killing thugs for easy clues, but I managed to make 10 mil in 21 hours from level three. I also emphasized that I was really training combat stats. So it's not like I was maximizing the money making possible and doing something that doesn't give you any XP. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. See you guys later. Before the video ends here, guys, I thought I would show you something that makes playing OSRS Mobile a little easier. So this is not a sponsorship. Mobile Grip simply sent me one of their products. I think they're like $12 to show you guys if I liked it. So here's the actual product. It's just an iPhone holder in the form of a controller that fits really easily into your hands. So look at it, this. It literally just holds your iPhone. It makes it so much easier to hold though. and to move your thumbs because my hands are actually way too big for my phone. 
So it's really nice to be able to hold it. It's also not like this is gonna turn your phone into an Xbox controller. It really is just a plastic holder for your phone. So if you want 10% off this product, you can use the code SIRPUGGER and the link in the description. Thanks for watching guys, and if you're interested, make sure to check it out.